In orbital mechanics, mean motion represented by n is the angular speed required for a body to complete one orbit, assuming constant speed in a circular orbit which completes in the same time as the variable speed, elliptical orbit of the actual body. The concept applies equally well to a small body revolving about a large, massive primary body or to two relatively same-sized bodies revolving about a common center of mass. While nominally a mean, and theoretically so in the case of two-body motion, in practice the mean motion is not typically an average over time for the orbits of real bodies, which only approximate the two-body assumption. It is rather the instantaneous value which satisfies the above conditions as calculated from the current gravitational and geometric circumstances of the body's constantly changing, perturbed orbit. Mean motion is used as an approximation of the actual orbital speed in making an initial calculation of the body's position in its orbit, for instance, from a set of orbital elements. This mean position is refined by Kepler's equation to produce the true position. Topic. Definition Define the orbital period the time period for the body to complete one orbit as p, with dimension of time. The mean motion is simply one revolution divided by this time, or n equals 2 pi p n equals 360 p or n equals 1 p display style n equals frac 2 pi p q quad n equals frac 360 caret circ p quad m box or quad n equals frac 1 p with dimensions of radians per unit time degrees per unit time or revolutions per unit time the value of mean motion depends on the circumstances of the particular gravitating system in systems with more mass, bodies will orbit faster, in accordance with Newton's law of universal gravitation. Likewise, bodies closer together will also orbit faster. Topic. Mean motion and Kepler's laws Kepler's third law of planetary motion states, the square of the periodic time is proportional to the cube of the mean distance, or a 3 P two equals mu display style frac a caret three p caret two equals mu, where a is the semi-major axis or mean distance, p is the orbital period as above, and mu is a constant for any particular gravitational system. From the above definition of mean motion, derive p equals one n. Display style p equals frac 1 n, where n is in revolutions per unit time. Combining with the above definition of Kepler's third law, mu equals a 3 1 n 2. Display style mu equals frac a caret 3 left frac 1 n right caret 2, and reducing mu equals a 3 n 2 display style mu equals a caret 3 n caret 2 which is another definition of kepler's third law mu the constant of proportionality is a gravitational parameter defined by the masses of the bodies in question and by the newtonian gravitational constant g see below therefore n is also defined n 2 equals mu a 3 or n equals mu a 3 display style n caret 2 equals frac mu a caret 3 quad m box or quad n equals sqrt frac mu a caret 3 expanding mean motion by expanding mu n equals g m plus m a 3 display style n equals sqrt frac g m plus m a caret 3 where m is typically the mass of the primary body of the system and m is the mass of a smaller body 
This is the complete gravitational definition of mean motion in a two-body system. Often in celestial mechanics, the primary body is much larger than any of the secondary bodies of the system, that is, mm. It is under these circumstances that m becomes unimportant and Kepler's third law is approximately constant for all of the smaller bodies. Kepler's second law of planetary motion states, a line joining a planet and the Sun sweeps out equal areas in equal times, or d a d t equals constant Display style frac operator name d a operator name d t equals text constant for a two-body orbit, where d d t is the time rate of change of the area swept. Letting d t topic p the orbital period, the area swept is the entire area of the ellipse d a. Pi ab, where A is the semi-major axis and B is the semi-minor axis of the ellipse. Hence D A D T equals Pi A B P Display style FRAC operator name D A operator name D T equals FRAC Pi ab P multiplying this equation by two 2 d a d t equals 2 pi a b p display style 2 left frac operator name d a operator name d t right equals 2 left frac pi ab p right from the above definition mean motion n equals 2 pi p Substituting two D A D T equals N A B Display style two FRAC operator name D A operator name D T equals NAB and mean motion is also N equals two A B D A D T display style n equals frac 2 ab frac operator name D A operator name D T, which is itself constant as A B and dot D T are all constant in two-body motion. Topic: Mean motion and the constants of the motion. Because of the nature of two-body motion in a conservative gravitational field, two aspects of the motion do not change, the angular momentum and the mechanical energy. The first constant, called specific angular momentum, can be defined as h equals 2 d a d t Display style h equals 2 frac operator name d a operator name d t and substituting in the above equation, mean motion is also n equals h a b display style n equals frac h ab. The second constant, called specific mechanical energy, can be defined. She equals minus mu two a. Display style she equals frac mu 2 a. Rearranging and multiplying by one a two minus two she a two equals mu a three. Display style frac minus two she a caret two equals frac mu a caret three. From above, the square of mean motion n2 equals mu, a3. Substituting and rearranging, mean motion can also be expressed n equals 1 a minus 2 she display style n equals frac 1 a sqrt minus 2 she 
where the minus 2 shows that she must be defined as a negative number, as is customary in celestial mechanics and astrodynamics. Topic. Mean motion and the gravitational constants Two gravitational constants are commonly used in solar system celestial mechanics, g, the Newtonian gravitational constant and k, the Gaussian gravitational constant. From the above definitions, mean motion is n equals g m plus m a 3 display style n equals sqrt frac g m plus m a caret 3 by normalizing parts of this equation and making some assumptions it can be simplified revealing the relation between the mean motion and the constants setting the mass of the sun to unity m equals 1 the masses of the planets are all much smaller mm therefore for any particular planet n approximately equals G A three display style n approximately sqrt frac G A caret three and also taking the semi-major axis as one astronomical unit n one o approximately equals G display style n underscore one text o approximately sqrt G the Gaussian gravitational constant k equals square root g, therefore, under the same conditions as above, for any particular planet n approximately equals k a 3 display style n approximately frac k sqrt a caret 3 and again taking the semi-major axis as one astronomical unit n 1 o approximately equals k display style n underscore 1 text o approximately k topic mean motion and mean anomaly mean motion also represents the rate of change of mean anomaly and hence can also be calculated n equals m 1 minus m 0 t display style n equals frac m underscore 1 m underscore 0 t where m1 and mo are the mean anomalies at particular points in time and t is the time elapsed between the two mo is referred to as the mean anomaly at epoch and t is the time since epoch topic formulae For Earth satellite orbital parameters, the mean motion is typically measured in revolutions per day. In that case, n equals d 2 pi g m plus m a 3 equals d g m plus m 4 pi 2 of 3 display style n equals frac d 2 pi sqrt frac g m plus m a caret 3 equals d sqrt frac g m plus m 4 pi caret 2 a caret 3 where d is the quantity of time in a day g is the gravitational constant m and m are the masses of the orbiting bodies a is the length of the semi-major axis to convert from radians per unit time to revolutions per day consider the following r a d i a n s t i m e u n i T times one R E V O L U T I O N two Pi 
R A D I A N S times D T I M E U N I T S one D A Y equals D two Pi R E V O L U T I O N S P E R D A Y Display style erm frac radians time unit times frac one revolution two pi radians times frac d erm time units one erm day equals frac d two pi erm revolutions per day. From above, mean motion in radians per unit time is n equals two pi p. Display style n equals frac 2 pi p. Therefore, the mean motion in revolutions per day is n equals d 2 pi 2 pi p equals d p. Display style n equals frac d 2 pi frac 2 pi p equals frac d p, where p is the orbital period, as above. Topic. See also. Gaussian gravitational constant. Kepler orbit. Mean anomaly. Mean longitude. Orbital elements. Topic. Notes Topic. References Topic. External links Glossary entry Mean Motion at the U.S. Naval Observatory's Astronomical Almanac Online